If you're a lady, come closer. Do you even ovulate at all? Honestly, you are not so sure. But don't worry, let's find out together in this video. Hello and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about ovulation. What is ovulation? The importance, the signs and symptoms, how to calculate your ovulation day, factors that can affect ovulation and some of the problems associated with ovulation. Let's get started. Ovulation is the period of time within the menstrual cycle when the matured follicle, that is a sac containing egg and fluid, ruptures and releases egg. These eggs move from the ovaries into the fallopian tube for fertilization by the sperm. Ovulation is essential for number one, natural conception. Two, so, it plays a role in hormonal regulation for your menstrual cycle. And then lastly, ovulation is important for your overall reproductive health. So before we talk about how to calculate your ovulation day, let's talk first what is ovulation day. Now, ovulation day is that day the egg moves from the ovaries into the fallopian tube. That day is your ovulation day. And before you can actually know when your ovulation day is, you have to understand your menstrual cycle length. You have to know the length of your cycle. So what is your cycle length? Now the first day you see your period till the last day before your next period is your cycle length. So we can simply put that the cycle length is the number of days in between your period. Now, having understand what your cycle length is, let's calculate your ovulation day. Let's find out when your ovulation day is going to fall on. If your cycle length is the regular 28 day cycle, you're going to subtract 14 from it. Now, if you subtract 14 from 28, you have 14 left. So on the 14th day is your ovulation day. Or say your cycle length is 30 days, you subtract 14 from it, day 16 is going to be your ovulation day. I hope you understand what I just said. So the first thing to be able to calculate your ovulation day is to know your cycle length. If you understand and know your cycle length, then calculating your ovulation day wouldn't be a problem. If you know your cycle length, subtract 14 from it, then the, num the number you get, that number would be the day you will ovulate. Let's say your cycle length is 32 and you remove 14 from it. You are left with 18, right? So on day 18 will be your ovulation day. I hope you understand. The first sign of ovulation we talk about is change in cervical mucus. That is change in your vaginal discharge. During your ovulation period, the vaginal discharge you see is a bit different from the vaginal discharge around your menstrual cycle. Here, the vaginal discharge during ovulation increases in amount. It's clear, thin and stretchy. It resembles the raw egg whites. It can be compared to the raw egg whites. This type of vaginal discharge is also called the fertile mucus and that is because of its nature. Its nature allows the sperm to swim through the cervix into the fallopian tube to meet the egg and fertilize it to enable conception. The number two sign of ovulation is slight increase in your resting body temperature. During certain times in your menstrual cycle, you may notice a slight increase in your body temperature by 0.5 degrees Celsius or by 1 degree Celsius above your normal resting body temperature. This may just be a way of your body telling you that you are ovulating. And the reason for this increase in body temperature is as a result of the hormone progesterone. But if at any point you notice that you are having 
elevated body temperature greater than one degree Celsius, then you need to consult your doctor. Something else might just be happening and you might not be ovulating. The next is breast tenderness and fullness. Some women they experience breast tenderness, that is pain in the breast and breast fullness during ovulation. And this is because of hormonal shift that is occurring during your ovulation. The hormone responsible again is progesterone. The hormone progesterone causes increased blood flow to the breast tissue resulting to this breast tenderness and fullness. Not all women experience this breast tenderness and breast fullness. The next is lower abdominal pain, what is known as metascheremas. I do not want to bite my tongue. I'm just going to place the spelling here for you. You can check it out. Now, this pain occurs as a result of irritation or leakage of fluid following the rupture of a matured follicle. When the mature follicle ruptures, there's a release of egg and some fluid, like I said earlier on. This fluid can cause irritation, resulting in this pain that is felt. Interestingly, ovulation pain usually occurs at one side of the abdomen, depending on which ovary is releasing egg in that cycle. So, ovulation pain can switch side from cycle to cycle. Other symptoms that can occur during ovulation include abdominal bloating, that is presence of gas in the abdomen, heightened sense for taste and smell, and increased libido. Every woman is unique and may experience different symptoms and not necessarily all the symptoms that I have listed above. For some women, they may not even notice any of these symptoms that I have mentioned. So are there investigations that can be done to know if you have ovulated or if you are ovulating? Yes, of course. The first we'll be talking about is the use of an ovulation test kit. It's a bit similar to the pregnancy test kit as you can do it at home by yourself. Now, unlike the pregnancy test kit that is testing for the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, the ovulation test kit checks for luteinizing hormone and you can use your urine to do these tests the best time to use an ovulation test kit is four days before your ovulation day so if you can calculate your cycle length you can as well calculate your ovulation day and if you can calculate your ovulation day four days before your ovulation day you start using these ovulation test kits and it is best to do it same time of the day and the reason you do your ovulation test four days before the ovulation day is because luteinizing hormone which is the hormone you're looking at for usually rises 24 to 36 hours before the ovulation day so that you don't miss it you have to do this four days before your ovulation day and you do it on a daily basis until the ovulation day and you do it same time every day another investigation that can be done is ultrasound follicular tracking and this is a procedure that helps to monitor the growth and the development of an ovarian follicle during your menstrual cycle this procedure is usually done for women who are trying to conceive or for women who are undergoing fertility treatment such as ovulation induction, intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization. Some of the factors that can affect ovulation include hormonal imbalance such as polycystic ovarian syndrome or a thyroid disorder. Number two is age. Now with increasing age, there is a decline in the ovarian reserve. Now every lady when born is born with a complete number of eggs in their ovaries they will need in a lifetime. Now with aging, these reserves begins to decline, it begins to reduce. This can also affect your ovulation. Some medical conditions such as hyperprolactinemia, endometriosis can also affect ovulation. And then lastly is lifestyle factor. Stress, diet, excessive exercise and obesity can affect ovulation. One major problem with ovulation is Anovulation. 
that is absence of ovulation. So some people can menstruate without ovulating. That would be a discussion for another day. So a problem with ovulation is an ovulation, absence of ovulation. Now what are the things that can result in an ovulation? We have polycystic ovarian syndrome, stress, obesity, and extreme weight loss. Now polycystic ovarian syndrome has been showing up too often in my videos don't worry we'll find time to discuss polycystic ovarian syndrome as a topic some of the treatment options available for an ovulation include lifestyle modification as well as some medications such as letrozole and clomiphene however these drugs should not be taken without your doctor's prescription see your doctor consult your doctor before taking any of these medication before we continue let me just share a story of why i'm insisting you see a doctor before taking letrozole or clomiphene one time i was in the clinic and this lady walked in she came for routine checkup as a lady things she needs to do before conception let's just say she came for preconceptional care and she was saying that um, she heard of this drug clomiphene that if she takes it she's going to have twin multiple gestation and i told that that of course clomiphene can result in multiple gestation but that is not the work of the drug that is a side effect of the drug and clomiphene is not taken by anybody it is taken when you have an ovulation when you are undergoing an ovulation induction treatment that is when you take clomiphene and the multiple gestation you are seeing as a result of this drug is not because it is the drug is is, is uh, meant to cause it no it is a side effect of the drug i hope we get that right so if you are a female and you are thinking of getting clomiphene because you want to have twin you want to have multiple gestation do not take this drug without consulting your doctor because it can also result in what is known as ohss ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome be careful what you take do not use any drug over the counter without consulting your doctor In conclusion, ovulation is a vital process in your menstrual cycle and plays a very important role in your reproductive health. Understanding your ovulation, such as being able to recognize the signs and symptoms of ovulation, which include changes in your cervical mucus, slight increase in your body temperature or a mild lower abdominal pain can help you as an individual to track your fertility and understand your reproductive health better thank you so much for watching today's video i believe you have learned something new in this video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to comment please we can interact in the comment section don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe hit on that post notification button so that whenever i post a new video you will be the first to get into fight if this is your first time of coming across my youtube channel please and please subscribe to the channel you're going to love it here to my returning subscribers i love you so much you guys are simply amazing bye for now see you in my next video